to COVID. So um, thank you for that plug. And I will get to Sadie's question now. Um, okay, my one of my favorite questions because it just works. It's just been, it's just something that's magical. Something that's so magical. Um, the four elements, fire, fire, earth, wind, and water. So last night, Sadie at our art auction did a great job. She's been paying attention for sure. Those are the four elements of the Chinese zodiac. And the reason I did that with, these are my, all my original art too. The reason I created it is because it bridges east and west. In the four elements, starting with fire, we have, we've got the dragon and monkey and Sagittarius, or sorry, rat. Oh, I just gave it away. Um, so why would those be the fire elements? Because in Western astrology, the dragon represents Aries, the monkey represents Leo, and the rat represents Sagittarius. Okay, so then Sadie's saying, like, what does fire mean? What, why do I care about fire? Um, it's because fire will begin any creative process. So it's known to be a creative um, energy. It's also known to be a leadership energy because fire will just, if you think of the way a forest fire burns, it takes control, right? So fire will take control. So it will be a leadership sign um, or a leadership element, energy. It'll be creative too because fire creates food. Um, without fire, we can't cook food. So it creates new things. Fire will burn things down. Essentially like what's happening with COVID right now, like a very strong fire energy is out there that like it's burning things down to create something new. The phoenix rising excuse me, from the ashes is that fire energy. Um, and then finally, fire is visionary. It takes um, a very powerful energy like fire, something that's really radical and powerful and will just take control to be visionary because vision is impulsive, spontaneous. It's like, it's completely new. A vision is completely new. Nobody's seen it before. That's why it's called vision. It's called, it's something that you're going, that's going to happen, that you see it, but it's not real yet. Um, so it'll start with fire. In Chinese astrology, we start the system with Sagittarius or the rat, which is a fire energy. And in Western astrology, um, we start with Aries or the dragon, which is uh, fire sign as well. Um, then, um, here we, um, have a, the, the fire in, in Chinese astrology will burn down, right? Fire. That's the one thing about fire is it won't last forever. Anybody who is a fire sign an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius knows that, um, that you can have a quality that'll burn people out. It'll, you'll, you'll move forward with so much intensity that then there's nothing left. But the people who will remain are going to be the earth signs. And the earth signs here are going to be because bur fire burns down to create earth, creates ashes. Um, and so then the earth is going to always be there. It's always going to be there. It's always going to be practical and hardworking. It's almost like the opposite of fire. It's going to be like, it doesn't, like fire is all about surprises, spontaneity, creativity. Earth signs? Our signs are consistent over time. They like their routine and they are not so much. Um, <laughs> Sadie's so excited about this. She's saying, oh God, so true. This is me. So real. Well, Sadie, to imagine this, Kayla is an earth sign. So how have you been able to sustain a partner with a partnership with her is that she just won't go away. She's an earth sign. So as much as fire tries to burn earth down, it can't because the earth will always be there. And, um, the earth will even become fire at times. It'll become lava. So, uh, and, and like a liquid fire. So, um, the earth understands the importance of create of like fire brings new life. Fire can, sometimes plants won't sprout without fire. You know, there's certain trees that their, um, seeds wait for forest fires to come through. Um, to uh, clear stuff. And so the, um, so yeah, you have the fire energy. Um, the fire energy creates life. It creates new life and the earth elements know that. So that's why they're going to always be there. They're consistent over time and they're, they're durable. They're um, hardworking because it takes a lot of work and energy to, um, and takes a lot of work and energy to, 
Uh, and together they make money is what uh, Jose is saying on Instagram. Love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardworking. It's the earth sign. Um, it's basically that longevity to the vision of the fire signs. Like the earth will stay there. Um, and they're practical. They're very practical. They will say, okay, now here's the, here's actually how this is going to get done. Fire sign, I know you have a vision, but this is how it's actually going to get done. <laughs> so then, and then that'll show up as like after Aries, what comes next? Taurus. Taurus is that earth sign that follows the fire energy. And then if you're in Chinese astrology, you have Sagittarius is followed by Capricorn. So you have a very eccentric sign like Sagittarius is followed by a very practical and hardworking leadership sign like Capricorn. So um, there's that. Uh, uh, let's see, Sadie's saying, wow, Kayla is durable with me, ha ha ha, and hardworking. Yeah, she's Taurus. Yeah, yeah, not surprised. So um, anyways, so that's how the, uh, the elements are working out here in real life with our partners, co-owners of Spectra Art Space, how they're able to work together. So um, next, if you have Aries, then Taurus, then what's after that? Gemini. If you have Sagittarius and Capricorn, what's after that? Aquarius. Air signs. The air element comes next. Um, so the air element is going to be the communication. So I think of this actually as like a newborn baby. And you're like, what? Why'd we go to babies all of a sudden? And I'm thinking of this because fire, passion, the, the passion of, um, or the fire of passion, passion of fire and love and lust will create um, a baby, right? And then that baby will grow and become physical. So there's like a, there's this vision of a new life that'll happen. Then you'll have the growth of a new life and that is the baby in, in the womb. And the womb is, and the baby's growing. But right now the baby, but at that time the baby can't speak and the baby's not like maybe thinking, I don't know. But um, once they're born is really when those traits show up. So after you have the vision and fire of creation, then you have the w earth and the physical nature is burned down to create the ashes or, or a human. Um, then once the baby's born, what's the first thing it does? It cries, it screams, it's loud, it's using its voice, it's using the air element. It takes air to communicate. It takes the wind energy to communicate. Um, we can't speak without using our voice and using air. So communication is the air element there. Um, and so we have... Um, the air element follows the creation of the physical being or physicality of the earth. So we, the air is um, going to be the messenger and it's associated with the nervous system too. Um, that these, these signs, they also translate to parts of the body. So um, you'll see that the parts of the body that are, are associated with these are going to be like the lungs are associated with Libra because there's two of them. The hands are associated with Gemini because there's two of them. You have to have this like, you have to have your breath inhale and exhale. There's this partnership that happens with the air element. So that's why the air element comes next after the earth element. And then we arrive finally at the nourishing water element. Now we all know that life would cease to exist without water. So the least but uh, not, but the, not the last, but not least, excuse me. That's what I meant to say. The last, but not least element, because if you have Aries followed by Taurus, Aries fire, Taurus earth, Gemini air, then you have cancer water. If you'd look over to the Chinese system, it would be Sagittarius fire, Capricorn earth, Airy, or the air sign is uh, Aquarius and then the water sign is Pisces. So you're going to like always conclude with a water sign and that's because nothing can exist without water. So that's why you have the four elements is they can't exist without each other. And the water element is known for being nourishing, feeling, intuitive, and psychic. So these are the signs that will truly sustain the other signs for the long run. And um, they are fluid and adaptive as well. So um, that's because water, if we all, if you just, 
you know, we all have experienced water. You barely touch it and it ripples. It'll feel that. So water, that's why they're so, they're known to be psychic or very intuitive signs. I'm a water sign Pisces. Um, they can just pick up on things before they even really happen. They're like fire in that way, actually. They're very like, they're very able to pick up on what is um, what's what is going on around them without ever really having to have that solid affirmation that like an earth sign has to have. Um, so yeah, it's like uh, um, so yeah, it's been those are those are the four elements, Sadie, for answering your question here on face on Instagram. Sadie was asking. Can you elaborate more about the qualities of the four elements? So um, that that's that is my elaboration. Let me know if you have any further questions or can relate to that. Sadie was excited to relate to that, um, and that uh, knowing and understanding this, my the reason I love this so much, and I just had this thought. The reason I love this so much, I can't believe I haven't expressed it yet in all the episodes of Wisdom Wednesday so much. But the reason I share this knowledge with you freely. It's so you can make the most conscious decisions to live your best life. If you know this about yourself, if you know these traits about yourself, if you know what's going on in the, um, if you know what's going on in the big picture, you can make your most informed decision and create as much harmony in your life and live your best life. So that's why I'm sharing this information with you guys. So I want you all to live your best life. It is the first step in creating world peace. So Sadie's asking here, amazing, where does metal come in? Well, Sadie, you have to ask me about the five elements if you want to know about metal. Because five elements of the Chinese zodiac. That is just the Chinese zodiac. The Western zodiac only resides within the four elements. The Chinese zodiac will reside within the five elements. And that is my next series that I'm creating in my studio. It will be, excuse me, a 60 painting series. So um, especially also just, I'm gonna take a quick break before I answer that five elements question to let everybody know here on Facebook and Instagram, if you wish to have a free reading for your astrology today, um, I am happy to do that for you. Please just provide your birthday, your friends, your roommate, your colleagues, your family, Please provide any birthdays, um, and then and Sadie's saying she's learning so much. So just provide a birthday, and I will give you a free reading because I believe in you living your best life. So may, living your best life starts with an informed decision, and I'm here to help you make that decision. So um, just let me know your your birthday, and I'll give you a free reading. Now um, back to Sadie's question, since I don't have any birthdays yet to um, do. Um, is uh, that we're, she's curious about the elements. So we just talked uh, for the last couple of minutes about the, um, about the uh, four elements too. Um, and so I went through that progression. That's primarily relating to the, um, that's uh, primarily relating to the Western Zodiac. Oh, we've got Ben Shores is putting up a birthday, cool. Um, so then I'll be able to get to that in just a moment. Um, ooh, maybe I'll put it on these. Yeah, this is a good piece of paper. I ran out of paper. Oh, I got some more birthdays. <laughs> All I had to do was a quick plug. Um, so <laughs> thanks, guys. I'm glad that worked. So we've got Ben Shores. Is uh, We're going to do... I'm going to write them down so I can keep track. Um, 9, 27, uh, 2005... And then we've also got uh, his his child. Okay, we're gonna talk about Ben's kiddo, and then we're gonna do um, for MS Revolved. MS Revolved. We're gonna do um, eight zero one and eighty two. Cool. Thank you so much, you guys. That's really helpful. Um, you know, this relates to both those questions. So I'm going to just quit. I'm going to go through Sadie's question about she's like, where's the metal element come in? Because I've told her she's a metal ram um, born in years in 1991. So that is a metal element year. Um, the reason why is in Chinese astrology, it follows the Chinese, we the Chinese medicine. So Eastern medicine, Chinese medicine. The, if you have ever 
ever visited a Chinese medicine practitioner, they will give you a reading or a readout of your physical state, and that is going to be in the five elements. It's going to be in first metal, then water, then wood, then fire, and then earth, making five elements. So um, metal correlates with years ending in zero and one. The metal element associates with money. <laughs> Metal's always worth money. Metal is always um, going to, metal is similar to earth since metal comes from earth. Years eight and nine are earth years and then what comes after the earth years are years zero and one which are metal years. So the metal energy is going to, that's the main thing that I have read is that it attracts money because metal is always worth money. It may not attract a lot of money but it will always attract money. So anybody you know in your life I think it's very, it's very, of course, fitting for Sadie, born a year, a metal year, year 1991, metal ram, a cardinal sign, a very, a leadership sign, a leadership metal year is going to make it so that Sadie is good at attracting um, money. And as a cardinal sign who is concerned with um, caring for essentially the the other the folks that are in the like in the arts they cancer is associated with a ram so cancer cares a lot about their feeling they are that water energy they're feeling they're going to be not as interested in like those hard sciences and those heavy industry they're going to care more about the arts they're going to care more about artists um cancers will just in general they'll be more sympathetic towards art um, endeavors, artistic and creative endeavors. They'll be supportive of that. So no, no doubt that she is a leader in bringing, like helping artists attract more abundance. So um, that is that metal energy and that metal sign. Metal, you can always think of the different ways that me metal can be rigid, like, you know, like a knife and like a lot of the time metal's rigid but it can be fluid and liquid like the merc like mercury mercury is also a metal but it like acts like water once metal gets hot it becomes more fluid and then um so it's metal is known for being adaptive and flexible and moldable too like metal can be molded into a lot of different ways and it's always very helpful so um it's always a helpful thing metal's always going to be there to help um so, you know, so many things are made out of metal. It's such a versatile element. So it's um, not like, in a way, like earth is really just used for earth things. Like you can build a house with earth, you can do all these things with earth, but you can't like build a car from earth, I don't think. <laughs> you can't like do more than build like a foundation. The earth element will be foundational and it will be there for the long run. It will be the foundation. So Sadie has earth signs in her in at here at Spectra, me being an earth dragon, Kayla being a Leah or a tiger. Or, oh my God, where am I? Taurus. Leah, Kayla is a Taurus setting the foundation, being that foundation to, um, hey Lexi, good to see you. Um, Lexi is part of our team here at Spectra too. So earth signs set the foundation. Um, and, uh, but I'll come back to that because we're starting with year zero and one, zero and one are metal years. And that's, we talked about metal being adaptive, strong, and, um, useful. Then also it, uh, is, um, uh, then we have move on next. And I love this analogy that the metal of year zero and one holds water of years two and three. So really, um, Sadie, this will relate to you again, that you are a metal sign and Kayla, 1992, a water monkey. So metal holds water. Water couldn't do it without metal, frankly, because water needs uh, the financial support. <laughs> water is going to have all of the intuition and feeling and um, really be able to key into those psychic abilities where metal can't. Metal can be conductive, but it can't tune into just being like that feeling nature. And so metal needs the sensitivity, the softness, and the versatility of water to help it hold, to help it grow. So, but metal will provide a vessel for water. You can't cook water. You can't heat water up without metal. Um, 
you can't water the plants without metal. You have to have either like a hose that has metal on it somewhere or you have a watering can. So um, metal will hold water. And I think of a watering can because then we move on to the years. Um, water is associated with years two and three too, you guys. I don't know if I just said that, sorry about that. But um, then the watering can, we have the years from zero to three now, um, will support the plants of, that will grow for the wood energy of four and five. So the, ener the um, elements for four and five, years four and five, um, <laughs> yay, <laughs> yay Sadie, yes. Um, Sadie says, I am a vessel, keep me full babes, um, for sure. Well, that's our, that is our, that is where we're at for sure. Um, but the element for years ending in four and five, which Ben Shores brought that up, we've got a 2005 birthday. So years ending in um, four and five. Oh, and then the other birthday that came in was 82. So that's a water, a water element year. And that's what is relating to this. I know that 1982 is a water dog too. So, um, and I know that 2005 is a wood rooster. Same year, same sign as Bob Marley super special um, because Bob Marley was 1945 I think um, which is the wood rooster so um, then uh, and that's those signs rotate every 60 years we'll get back into that but I'm talking about the five elements right now we're on to four and five um, we are talking about years ending in four and five being wood energy years um, that is big and then wood energies are going to be connectors. They're going to be um, community builders. They have roots and branches and leaves and they grow all over. They'll create a forest. And so long as there's a, not a fire, they'll grow a bunch of plants. So there'll be a bunch of them. They'll really connect um, around the planet. There's every continent has some form of plant life that'll grow on it. So plants and the wood energy spreads far and wide and is also transformative too because it'll take um, the different it'll take in the different types of um, you know gases like co2 and oxygen and exchange that and balance out the um, balance out the energies on the planet so the um, the plants will uh, the wood energies will be cut down by metal will be nourished by um, water will be will constrain earth because of their roots and um, they will be you know either they'll be birth they'll be reborn or then grow thanks to fire and also be destroyed thanks to fire so that's how those other elements work with that wood energy to demonstrate its qualities um, wood is moldable flexible um, you can you can build things with it um, so uh, I hope that helps understand the wood energy we then move from the wood like the wood energy of four and five you take two sticks rub them together and they will burn to create the year to create fire for years six and seven so years ending in six and seven are fire element years fire element we talked about earlier they're visionary they're creative they're strong leaders um, they do have to be careful to burn out um, because fires burn out. They just will. So they need the support of the other elements to keep them from burning out and keep them keep their vision and creativity burning. So um, you can have an ember. For a long time before they had Bic lighters, um, people would carry around an ember uh, from a fire. They just like and keep it warm. Like just blow on it and keep it warm and you'd uh, be able to light a fire anywhere because you'd carry around a little ember. Um, so that's fire in a sustainable form is the embers and the coals. Um, fire in a less sustainable form is a forest fire because it will burn out eventually. It may take control, it may be scary, it may be intense, but it will burn out. So, um, the, so that's the quality of fire is that it's a strong leader and it can take control. Hey Josh, good to see you again. We were just talking about metal a couple of signs back. We've moved to fire, but we'll connect metal because Josh is born near the metal pig. Um, that the metal and fire um, do, oh no, IG is being difficult for you. I'm sorry to hear that. It was being difficult for me too. 
Um, I hope it's going to just do better. And unfortunately, my phone's at like 20% battery too, you guys. It's just drained. So we're going to have to end this thing so soon. Um, but I will continue to talk about the relationship of the elements. Um, for uh, metal elements and fire elements, guess what? They harmonize pretty well. What is it that makes metal moldable is fire. So if there's fire around and there's metal around, holy cow, that's an unstoppable energy. Very good partnership. If you have someone born in the years ending in zero and one, and then somebody born in six and seven, you'll see that um, my, my easiest example to give you is 1980, year of the monkey. And then 1997, uh, sorry, 1976, Year of the Fire Dragon. Those two would make a good combination, a very powerful combination. Um, since it is fire and metal that um, actually create a lot of destruction. <laughs> they do, but they will create, uh, they will generate new life and something better through that destruction. Um, and then to fire will, like I said, it will always burn down to create earth. And those are years ending in eight and nine. So earth years, we've touched on this earlier, are um, foundational. That's something I didn't say earlier. They're the foundation. So everything's built on earth. Um, everything needs earth to stabilize it. And so earth will be that foundational support. Um, that will be consistency over time. Once you have an earth sign as part of your team, your life, they're gonna be there forever. Like, I mean, really, unless there's something that um, is, is making it so it doesn't, it doesn't work out, um, they will want to like burrow in and be there forever. They just wanna like be there and continue to do what they do. They love their routine. They wanna keep doing what they do. That's earth signs. They'll always be there, they're dependable. And essentially all the other elements come from the earth. So once you have an earth sign around, they you want that energy and that element to be, um, to feel like it's nourished because it will continue to provide you with all of the other elements. All of the other elements come from the earth. So the earth will have metal in it. The earth will have the fire in it. The earth will have water and wood and air. So um, the, that is, the earth is kind of that all encompassing energy. So I hope that that helps Sadie um, with understanding more about the five elements. Really before IG times out and um, the phone dies, I wanna get to Ben Shores' um, reading for Ben, which is Ben's first child. We've got a Virgo Virgo. <laughs> no, Libra Virgo. Actually, Ben, my brother's birthday, my brother, we just talked about this earlier, is a rooster as well. So I'll just help you firm that one up. Um, I just know that he's a rooster because, um, well, my brother was born, as Sadie's brother was born, uh, 93. So then add 12 years and you get 2005. So that's how I knew that your son or your child was a rooster, was that um, just add 12 years and you get the next element as I just ran through the four, the five elements that would rooster. Sadie and I's brother are both water roosters.